Hey folks, welcome back to the Trinity Episcopal Church YouTube Bible Study. I'm the Reverend Jimmy Abbott, the priest here at Trinity, and so glad that you have come back for our YouTube Bible Study. Today we're looking at the Gospel of John, chapter 14. We'll read it this Sunday, May 14th. Happy Mother's Day. So in this passage, Jesus is at the Last Supper with his disciples, and he says that, that he's going to send an advocate to be with us. Now, this is taken to be the Holy Spirit. That word advocate in Greek is the word paraclete, which doesn't really mean anything to us in English. So it can be roughly translated as comforter, as advocate, oftentimes now heard as Holy Spirit. But the word advocate here in the original language has a definite meaning. It's a legal word. It's the word they would have used for a defense attorney. So imagine this, that the Holy Spirit is not just someone who lives within us, but someone who stands beside us. In a time of trial, in a time of worry and angst, the Holy Spirit is the one right by our side, sometimes speaking on our behalf, sometimes giving us the words that we need to speak. And when Jesus says that he will give that to us, he says that I will not leave you orphaned, meaning that even though he, Jesus, is going away, this new advocate, this spirit of truth will be with us. This is part of what we're celebrating in the next few weeks in the church calendar. We have this Sunday, and then it's Ascension Day when Jesus ascends into heaven. Then, of course, on Pentecost, we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit upon the disciples. Truly, this the, the, the down payment of the promised gift of the advocate, the Holy Spirit. This, I think, is something that we really need to live into as Christians. I know that when we start talking about the three persons of the Trinity— Father makes sense. Jesus as Son makes sense. But we don't talk too much about the Holy Spirit. And to, to me, that's to our detriment, that this is the Spirit of God, the advocate that is with us, beside us, within us all the time, giving us the strength that we need to fulfill our Christian lives. So encourage you all to think about that, to, to open your hearts again to the Holy Spirit that is already within and beside you. And that when you are lacking the words, open your heart and ears and let that advocate speak on your behalf. We'd love to hear what you have to think about all that, how the Holy Spirit is moving in your life, how you experience the Holy Spirit, how you feel that. Is it in great uh, tongues of fire? Is it in times of silence? I would love to hear how the Holy Spirit moves in your life.